Oh my god, give me that ammo. Oh my god. Ducks can die. Shoot all zombies. Oh my god, like a boss. A duck's opinion. Quack, quack, quack. Like I said, I want to use all this ammo up. I don't care what round we end up on. I just want to use all this ammo up, pack a punch it, and then leave. But I don't want to leave on the start of a round. I want to make sure there's like two or three zombies left because there are a few things I want to do when I get back. And we do have three purgatory modes to do such things. So there is, I do have to do a few more things and I have to show you guys a few more things. So a couple more perks I have to show you. A couple more traps I have to show you. We have to finish the acid trap. We have to actually get the wonder weapons. So... Stick around. We have some more stuff I want to show you guys. Don't go anywhere yet just because we're at the bridge. Just because you got all the information on how to survive. Please don't leave. I have more information. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so we do need to take these guys out. This is getting way too shaky for me. Claymores come in handy. Claymores are actually the best strategy against Gordon. I totally forgot to mention that. It slipped my mind. We should have got Claymores in the cafeteria. So, if you guys are doing this for tips and tick strategies, get Claymores. It, for real, like two claymores destroy, destroy the Gordons. It's really helpful if you have claymores. There. You but as you see, they don't drop perks every time, especially up here, especially up here. So you don't expect to get max ammos all the time because you you won't. <laughs> you more simply will not. But you will make enough money to do anything that you want to do with your life, anything. So we'll probably go one more round because I can't keep a crawler. But um. On this next round, we're going to kill these um, these bastards, these wardens again. We're going to keep a couple of zombies. We're going to go back to the prison by electrocuting ourselves. And I'm going to show you how to put together the plane again after you've done it once. It is a lot easier. I'm going to show you the acid traps. I'm going to show you the viable traps. And we're going to make it to round 20 and successfully do our chips and tricks 1 through 20 full informational video on Mob of the Dead series first try this is actually the first try I tried this and we're doing fantastic don't get me wrong could die right now like a little bitch but doesn't look like it's gonna happen looks like I'm doing pretty well if you ask me I know I shouldn't be wasting all the ammo for this on the wardens, but I really, like, if I can't stress anything, you want to use your pack-a-bunch guns on these wardens just because of this bullshit. The shaking drives me crazy. Doesn't that hurt your head? It hurts my head, personally. I just going to spend the rest of this ammo just killing this guy. Oh, man, and he made my round go up, too? Alright, that sucks, man. He still ain't dead. In like another one about to spawn. Let's go ahead and pack a punch. Because I definitely want to get out of here like this round. Alright, so we have two pack a punch weapons now. We have jug. We have um, double tap. And there is 110% no reason to be here. But I, it's, it's, it's a little sketchy because I really just don't want to leave like at the start of a round. But if you have to leave at the start of a round, I will show you how to clutch it. Run up here, hold X on any electric chair. The Brutons die. The Zap comes from the very top of the bridge and you get killed. This will return you back into predatory mode exactly where we started off at the beginning of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my character up and I'm going to run my happy ass as fast as possible to the cafeteria and start my circle strategies and uh, we're just going to circle here until we can keep a couple zombies we can go ahead and uh, if we want we can go ahead and unlock the box but I don't recommend it if the box is locked do not unlock it until you want to use it because if you unlock it now and the warden show up he'll just put it back in lock mode and it'll cost 4,000 this time instead of 2,000 each time he locks it it costs 2,000 more so you want to keep it locked until you use it and be careful, man. This is a sketchy spot to be running. You want to grab this shield that we got earlier. So when they hit you from behind, it'll break the shield and not you. And uh, let's throw some tomahawks and take care of these bitches. Kill all sons of bitches right now. We don't actually need the money. So let's go ahead and grab claymores that we should have grabbed earlier. So make sure to grab those earlier. And let's go ahead and grab this nuke. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to kill everyone. And it'll get rid of most of them. And that's pretty good. 
gonna get fucked up good. All right, so we pretty much got every perk. Now I have full ammo on both my Pack-a-Punch guns. We're gonna go to round 16. I really didn't wanna go to round 16. We still have a couple more things to do, but we will get everything done before round 18. I promise you that. We do need to uh, do a few things, like a few friggin' things. So I need to be very careful. But as you see, the parts restarted. The plain parts are now feel. So pretty much the thing about the feel is Every spot that had a plane part will now have fuel, but you don't have to go into purgatory mode to unlock the areas. It'll just be sitting there. So you can go make your rounds, and it'll take about five minutes, but you can get every single fuel part. You can get every single fuel part before the next round. And so as you see, the warden spawned. So if I was going to actually open and unlock that box, he would have broke it. He would have broke it, and it would have been, uh, been 4000 it would cost a lot more, so that's why you do not do that. See, he did it here, and it cost two thousand now. So for me to get that shield again, it's going to cost me two thousand. That bastard! I hate this warden so bad. But at least I will say, at least he can't steal your perks. So I don't know about you guys, but I played a lot of Call of the Dead, and they had a boss mode zombie in there that could steal your friggin' perks. And you know how annoying it is to get your perks stolen. It is so. Freaking annoying. Warren, you need to die, okay? I really don't want you killing my last zombie, you bastard. It looks like they're still spawning. Damn right, you better fall down. So I just don't want to kill my last zombie. That's the thing, but I really want to kill this. Uh, they look like they're still spawning. Warren went that way. Got him. Insta kill. Okay, I at least know that one zombie right there is fresh. Is that it? And max ammo like a boss. Now, one thing I haven't been doing about the claymores, you want to remember, you can stack up claymores on a wall, and every time you get max ammo, you'll get two more, and you can stack them. So you can eventually have just a wall full of a thousand claymores, and you can use them as often as you would like. So what I want to do now is I want to get the last part to the acid trap, which is, I guess, the the case, the case to the acid. So that will be either up here in the showers, right there, which it is, or it will also be in the Gordon area behind the stairs. It will be right behind the stairs, right while that crap right there is. So I want to go ahead and start opening up some stuff as well. We're going to open up this. And we're going to just, this is, this is an awesome little shortcut area. It's just good. It's good. So I'm going to come up here, and this is where another shortcut area. It costs a lot of money, but we have a lot of money. This is where Electric Cherry is. I want to get Electric Cherry for you guys and show you how it works. Whenever you reload, it shocks the zombies, and it can kill them. There is an achievement if you kill 10 zombies with it. it uh, it's pretty epic, but I just want to come over here and put together the blunt, the blunt upgrade thing. That is the acid trap. We, we have now put together all the traps and we put together all the shields and that is the full information on the traps and the shield. And um, now, just randomly, I want to show you guys how to get one of the two hidden songs on the map, Mob of the Dead. This one is very easy. All you have to do is uh, unlock the area where the number pad is and you need to put in the numbers 935. It's pretty simple to do. You just have to drop down to the afterlife, put in 935, and a song will stop playing, start playing. It is called uh, Where Are We Going? It is one of the major theme songs that is on this game and is one of my personal favorites. So drop down to afterlife mode. Run way down here where there normally is a part, but we are already on round 16, so we have already got that part, as you guys may have known if you're watching Tips and Tricks. Don't mind these numbers. Just put in 935. That's all you got to do. Nine, three, and five. That will trigger the song to start, and it will re-recircum the numbers to to zero zero zero. You want to get yourself out of purgatory mode, and the song will start playing. It's like everyone listen in. Can we hear it? I can hear it very, very slightly, just because I don't have my volume up. But the song will start playing. You will hear it as we continue on. 
All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, I want to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the traps. There are an achievement. There is an achievement that if you guys do all the traps and upgrade them before round 10, you get an achievement. I forgot to do it, but it, uh, you might want to do them all before round 10. These are the gas cans. If you're doing this solo, you can pick up all the gas cans by yourself, but if you're doing a co-op, you have to pick up each gas can individually, and that definitely can be a pain in the ass. But as you guys are listening, do you guys hear it? This is uh, the, the song's coming on now. I don't have my volume too loud, but if you guys listen closely, you can hear like the chorus of the song. So that is one of the hidden songs. You just come down here in Afterlife mode, put 935 in, and you have one of the hidden songs done and taken care of. So we are now going to head up to the docks. We're going to open up this gate, which is very expensive. We have most all the areas open. I'm going to call the cherry lift down here so we can get a ride back up here even quicker. But we need to go back down to the docks for um, one of two things. One, we need another gas can. And two, I want to show you guys this... Um, this this trap right here, you know, there's a few traps. It's the acid one, there's a fan one. We posted videos about that on both my channels. But if you come over here and activate this trap, it will actually it, it will actually shoot the zombies with snipers. And uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and do that now, and it will end up killing the zombies. But if you go into your afterlife mode while this trap is on, it will actually be able to upgrade. It is the only trap that you can actually upgrade. So let's drop down into afterlife mode and I'll show you how to upgrade it. You have to run back to the trap and it'll have a part that you can power up. And if you power up this and you buy it and you buy the acid trap and you get the saw and you do the saw trap, if you do all the traps by round 10, it's an achievement. I have not done this achievement yet, but it is a really cool achievement, and uh, we want to get the fuck out of here. But I hope that helps you out, and that now shoots rocket launchers. As you see, it's now shooting beast-ass ro beast rocket launchers, so I guess it actually is going to help us here on round 17 some, because those rocket launchers are complete beast mode. So let's get out of here. Did anyone follow us? Look at that bad boy. So it now shoots rocket launchers now to upgrade it, and it's pretty beast mode.